What's up guys, my name's Ariana. And I'm Maple. And today we are watching Breaking Bad season four, episode two. <laughs> that, yeah, that's what we're watching. <laughs> How's it look? Meaning, do I see it? Yes. Basically, any lawman worth his salt's gonna spot that, yeah. If stealth is what you're aspiring to, you best go with something more compact. 38 special, snub nose. Thought they were talking about a wire at first. I was like, so what is going I. on? So did I. I was like, wow, that went left right, really quick. I didn't think it was going to. Right on with this. That uh, snubby will seal up real nice if you carry it IWB. Sure it's on the correct side? If you're right-handed, it is. Maybe it'll feel better on the left side. Well, you don't want to cross draw, not unless you're going to be sitting. Either way, you're going to want to practice your draw <laughs> a lot. Yeah, that was not all fingers. Well, it might could be him keeping a piece instead of you. Catch my drift. Can't you guys shoot yourself in the, in the yes. foot or the leg or? Well, that there is why you're going to pay me five times what you'd pay your neighborhood gun store. Serial number has been filed off. Yes. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> state the obvious. I, I don't want to be caught with this on me. You know, mister, I've been providing my services for the past 30-odd years. You'd think in that time I'd learn better than ask a man his business, especially not one referred by the lawyer. <laughs> I do feel the urge to ask I'm you. I'm assuming he came from Saul. We strictly talking defense here? Absolutely. I don't know about uh, that anymore. I don't know about that. New Mexico's not a retreat jurisdiction. Nope. Man steps to you bent on doing you bodily harm. You got every right to plant your feet and shoot to kill. It's wild, it's wild west, tomorrow, baby. All right, and I do include myself within that class. All this to say, I'm happy to take your money. If you're not a convicted felon, you will be if you get caught with that. As to bear your arms within the confines of the law. Nah, he's good. But he's like, but I, but I am. For defense. He's like, I want to be bad, a little bad. But you're gonna keep it without the serial number because, again, like. Just lean into it, Walt. Be what you are. Be what you know you are. It's for murder. It's more palpable than... No, it's just for defense. That's all I'm using. Like, get far. Ah. No, man. You're a drug dealer. Drug like, manufacturer. Sure, my bad. But and like, a murderer. Let's, let's be real. He's trying to, like, really up his game. It's five o'clock somewhere. Is it a bar? Oh, I don't know why I just thought that was a diner. I don't know how I didn't realize that was a freaking bar. It's like an empty dive bar. Like love it. it. I love it. Give me the empty dive bar, please. Oh, he looks tired. Thanks, buddy. Oh. What a little detail. Dude. But very effective. Very much so. You ever see that one episode of Spongebob? Yes. Yep. With the jellyfish jam. That's literally all my brain went. Yep. That's literally jellyfish jam speakers. Mm -hmm. Wait, somebody should dress that Roomba up as, as Gary the Snail. Jesse. What's up, brother? Whoa. Bodacious subwoofers, yo. <laughs> Serious Ooh. cannon. Totally makes me want to crank old Savage and blaze one. Totally digital. Vacuum tube amp, which is by far the best anti-distortion wise. Hold on to your hats, bitches. I wish they would put the Sabbath on though. Oh God. Oh. Well, cause have they been hey, going to the meeting? I saw Andrea at a meeting yesterday. She asked about you. They're totally not gonna do it. No. Thanks, man, but um, 12 steps and all that. Seriously? Yeah, they were serious. Yes, they said the vibes are good. They were there for the vibes. Jesse, be no. so f for real, dude. Uh, Maybe just a little bump. Roger. Ugh, Jesse. Just let them be better. Left for dead, yo. Booyah! No. Oh, man. Resident Evil 4 takes it by a long shot. Please, brother, you front. No, man, seriously. That chick, the one you got to rescue, she's smoking, bro. And then you're like the last undead dude on Earth, okay? 
Okay, Call of Duty, World at War, zombie mode. Now that's the bomb, man. Think on it, bro. They're not just zombies. They're Nazi. <laughs> Nazi <laughs> zombies. What difference does it make what their job was when they was living? Dude, you are so historically retarded. Nazi zombies don't oh want to eat you just because they're craving the protein. They do it because they hate Americans, man. They're the Taliban's of the zombie world. I played the game, bro. They ain't exactly fleet of foot. No. I'm saying, where's the challenge? Yo, Jess. You ain't nothing but a hoochie mama. I'm out on all this. I can't, I can't focus with the hoochie mama song happening in the background. Great, totally. You ain't nothing but a hoochie mama. Is that an actual song? Yes, I know it. I used to know That's it. That's amazing. You know what this this place needs? Oh. The hell did you find all these people? He does not want to be home with his own. He does not want Good Lord. Want to be yeah. alone with his thoughts. Thank you. Much appreciated. Yes, of course. But why are you insisting upon you're going to be sitting? when you have to draw this gun. I started blasting. Bah, bah. He's in a meeting with Gus? Yeah. I mean, but that's very specific. It's because like I'm assuming that's what this is about. Absolutely. He did just slit a guy's throat that was a loyal worker in front of him. Hank and his rocks. Hank and his rocks. Minerals. Mineral. He's in his mineral girl era. Yeah, he is. He is so me, uh, same, I mean, I love rocks. I love a good rock. When we were in New Mexico, that was my favorite part of the Natural History Museum we were at. Is this Marie with a purple face mask? She's so funny. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you okay? Fine. Can you sleep? Actually, yes, Marie, this is me sleeping. Let's look at it. Dang. Looks like you're looking at a rock. 2.24 in the morning. This is not a rock. This is a mineral for like the 10th time. Okay. Got it. Blue corundum. To be <gasps> I saw that. Corundum. Well, it's very pretty. It's encrusted with igneous biotite in a mica schist. Would you like some more detail? Because I, I can give it to you. It's 2 in the morning. I'm just... Asking if maybe you, you know, want... last I counted, Marie, there are four bedrooms in this house. You know, I mean, if I'm keeping you awake and all. Oh, really? what a dagger. What a dagger to the heart. Marie didn't deserve that, mm -mm. even as a purple person. The way I would roll over and cry. Yeah. I like purple people. When I was little, my sister and I used to be the pink and purple gang, and I was purple. That's fair. Pink and purple gang. Pink and purple you gang. Walter White. At the tone, please you can't have two pinks. And the reason for your call. Thank you. Hank's bills are really starting to pile up here. And um, in the meantime, I haven't received a check from you in quite a while. So there's that. Um, yeah. Second order of business. Because he's seems, um, fighting for his life, literally. Oh, oh shit. To take the next step here. You need to look in the buying this car wash. I'm still up. Skyler, what are you doing? What do you mean? Wait, are you screening all my calls? No, no, no. I, I'm just, what, what are you thinking leaving a message like that on my machine? What are you, what did I say? You just left recorded proof of our intention to buy a car wash. Now, do you think that was wise? Proof of our what? What are you talking about? Skyler, we, we should not even be mentioning the words car wash on the phone at all. It is a car wash, not a brothel. I mean, if we can't even say what it is why are we buying it at all oh god look skylar please just hey mom hey hon look uh there's some cereal on the breakfast table the breakfast table i'm telling you if you're not willing to pull the trigger on this i am more than happy to call goodman myself hey no 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 i i will handle it okay he's gonna go murder someone or something i don't know maybe he has a meeting plan with gus and we just don't know just know that Roomba's sending off multiple notifications. I'm stuck. Yeah. I'm on a cliff. Help. I'm lost. What is that banging? It's that guy bouncing the ball. He's so he's a brain transplant right now. Yeah. 
I'm going to work. I got... <laughs> Damn, my God. You're way too sensitive about your zone, bro. Let's go out and get everybody some breakfast, stock up on liquor while you're at it. Keep this party going. I mean it, yo. I mean, I want this place kicking harder than a sensei when I get back. That feels like a lot. That's a bender. Two nights in a row, that's wild. What, is he gonna kill Jesse? I just don't understand. Walter, what the hell is going on? Is it Gus? Mm-mm. An assassin? I know that music, that music took a hard left real fast, though. What is happening? I'm scared. I also, like, I feel like Walt 110% is just, like, trigger happy. Like, he's not ready, you know what I mean? Like, he's truly not. Who the hell is this man? It's his replacement. Yo, you the new guy? Yeah. You got something for me? 201.6. What's the count? 201.6. Give it a second wave, if you would, please. New policy. What, Walter? Hmm. Where's Gus? Why? Because I would like to speak with him. He plans to just kill him. Because the way we left things, I, I would like the chance to clear the air. I don't think Gus cares. Well, he does, but he's not going to mess with you. Mm -mm. Walter, you're never going to see him again. Absolutely not. Like, this is no longer a business situation. You do no longer have that relationship, my guy. Oh, look who woke up holy. Just a little longer, okay, my sweetie? Okay? The Dodge gets a detail. And the Corolla gets a hand wax. Yep, hand wax. Way to go, Hank. Come on, way to soldier up. Jesus. Oh, wow. Look at you. Way to go, honey. Come on. Come on, Hank. Keep it going. Just 10 more steps. Nine. Eight. Six. <laughs> You're almost there, Hank. Oh. 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 Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Hey. That's so rude. He is just what like I I mean I get it. But the like, patience Marie has for Hank um, sometimes is like unmatched. It really it is. I'm still alive. Like she just, gets she gets it so well. You know what I mean? Like she understands, but like God, that would be so draining. It's just it's so great to see that. It's one day at a time. All we can do. You've got a real way with him. It's, you want to go full time? We've got a spare bedroom. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. You're so strong today. Did you work up an appetite? I'm sure that you did. Listen, I was thinking about cooking tonight. So Marie, I Marie, get out. She's like, I mean, the fact that, like, like I said, like, I would have rolled over and cried. Mm -hmm. Like, the will and strength to just for her to put her mask on and just, like, go back to bed or just, like, hold her tears back and walk out of the room and not say anything. Oh, man, ain't caught. Yeah, right. That's the gimme. This place, they don't cut their pizza and they pass the savings on to you. What savings? How much can it be to cut a damn pizza? Maybe it's like democratic, bro, you know? Cut your own Christmas tree, cut your own pizza. Yeah, come in. Hey, would you plan the police are definitely going to be showing up. I think that's the cops now. Yeah, for real. Man hours. That's. I don't know. Uh, got um. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Wow. That's sobering. How you doing? I'm doing. Was Brock. 
Brocken. He's uh Brock, honey, wait in the car, okay? Let the grown-ups speak. Go on, little man. We'll catch up later. Guess you know I've been calling. Yeah. Um, really busy work. <laughs> After Tomas was murdered, two dudes from the block, a couple bangers he used to hang with, get run over. One of them shot in the head. Same night, I get this in my mailbox. This was you? Whatever it is you had to do with my brother's killers, I don't want to know. But you got to tell me one thing. Is someone going to come looking for this? No. What exactly am I supposed to do with this? Use it to get you and Brock out of that shithole in the neighborhood. Or you can go out and spin it on glass and I'd have no way of stopping you. But I gotta believe you won't do that. There's a lot of crazy angle shots this episode. Yeah. There's no way no one in that neighborhood is that calling neighborhood the cops. That neighborhood isn't calling Not the a cops. chance. Walter you just roll up to Gus's cool. house. Oh, my God. Uh, homie, you don't think this man doesn't have someone watching you? Like, you don't... Or just, like, he's simply not home. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, I think he's really going to try to pull a hit right now. Or is he going to try to knock on his door and be like, Oh, Gus, just wanted to talk to you. I don't... I, He's Heisenberg now. He's lost his damn mind. <laughs> See, if you would just be him all the time, I would respect it more. Just be him. But also, I just feel like this is a bad move, man. Do you really think he doesn't have protection outside his home? He's a Walter, crime lord, basically. Walter sometimes point. gives me, like, serial killer vibes. I could see that. Like, how they talk about serial killers in, like, true crime. It's like, this is serial killer B-roll. In his little documentary. I can see it. You know what I'm talking yep. about? Yeah, like the reenactment. He wore a hat. <laughs> and we, when he had his hat on, we grin. knew it was a time for killing. <laughs> the victims always described him as a man. <laughs> In a hat. In a hat. Are you going to answer that call? It's, it's got to be Mike has to be there. Like, it, there's just no way. I like literally. That's what I'm saying. Like, you, you, why do you think he's not under watch? Like, I don't. Like, why would you think that you could do this? There's no way you're not, like, he's not being watched. Like, how you doing? Hi. Ton of bricks? Rocks. Holy crap. Yeah, how much did he die? Talk about a hyper fixation. My goodness. You might as well just start a business and get him wholesale. Yeah. Yes, Hank. How many boxes? I don't know. Three, four, hundred, a million. Did you check them for damage? The rocks, Hank. No, they're minerals. Jesus, Marie. I got some geodes coming that are very delicate, all right? Just There's at least 20 boxes. <laughs> Honey, would you check? Of minerals. Uh, no. Check, You're not even nice to me right now. Mr. Wallenitz, my name is Skylar White. You want to buy my car wash? I do. And I am prepared to talk numbers right now, if you'd like. You think this is an easy job? You are willing to get down on your hands and knees and uh, scrub like a housemaid? You don't. With all the chemicals eating into your nice skin and stinging in your eyes? I know a thing or two about scrubbing. Any other advice for me? Because I am serious about this. Good. With that in mind, is there a figure you can quote me? One which you think would adequately take... Ten million dollars. Dang. Well, let's try 879,000. Where do you come up with this stuff? You pull it from your behind? She was doing her homework, oh, baby. You average 19 cars per hour. Extrapolating, I added the extra revenues for hand waxes and detailing, subtracted your overhead and salary, maintenance, operating fees, depreciation, which I obtained from comparable businesses in the Albuquerque area, giving me an estimate of your annual cash flow here, giving me a total estimated value of $829,000. On top of which, I generously added an extra $50,000, so as not to be insulting. <laughs> $20 million. Oh, wow. 
Okay, Mr. Wellenitz, this... This is the price for Walter White. You don't think I know who you are? I remember. He quit without giving me notice. He broke my air fresheners. He cursed at me and grabbed himself. And now he wants to buy my car wash. But he's not man enough to come in here and face me himself. Instead, he sends his woman. Excuse me? Walter White wants to buy my car wash. The price he pays is $20 million. She's gonna, something, something's about to go down. You recently lost a loved one in an aviation. Yeah, don't she, insult Skylar's numbers. Of airplane debris, oh, God forbid, falling body parts, then call me, Saul Good. It goes without saying that the six, seven, perhaps even eight figure cash settlement will never fill the hole in your heart caused by your tragic loss. Saul Good, attorney at law, 505-523-4150. Say out less menu. Is that Walter? It's got to be. Yeah, look at him walking. Mm -hmm. You might want to learn how to tail better if you're planning on making a habit of it. Can I buy you a drink? Why not? You make a hell of a lot more than I do. Like, you're literally killing people. Uh, like, y'all need to be advocating for yourself in your place of business. Noise. Facts. I feel like I need to explain myself. There were some actions that I took, which I want you to understand. Do, are you? I did. Are you really? Want any of this to happen? Everything I did, I did out of loyalty to my partner. I hope you can appreciate that. Just like I appreciated that. Your life was spared, like. <laughs> I appreciate that when you were going to kill me, you were simply following orders. I get that completely, and I harbor no ill will. Uh, there's a load off my. <laughs> Like, I'm trying to tell you. I get it. Fine. Hell of a last couple of weeks. Makes a man wonder exactly where he stands. If Mike actually gives him this information, I'm going to be mind blown. Because it's just like... It's like, I don't... I, I cannot be alone in feeling this way. Not after what happened to Victor. Mm. Okay, Mike... You're trying to... Mike is kind of a contracted... So, What's with the piece? Right hip inside your waistband. I noticed it the other day at the lab. Now you wear it if it makes you feel better, but if push comes to shove, it's not gonna help. <laughs> Mike, do I have to come right out and say this? We're in the same boat. Drink your drink. If it happened to Victor, it could happen to you. And what, what the I just hell was don't anyway? think so. Yeah. I, d a I think Walter I, sometimes tries I, to draw like assimilations. Drunk. Just to send a message. One Walter. You got the job. Do yourself a favor and learn to take yes for an answer. But for how long? Get me in a room with him. Oh, my Mike. God. Just get me in a room and I'll do the rest. He's, He's a crazy ex-girlfriend. He's a crazy ex. He's taking a lot of liberties in assuming that people think the way he thinks. Like, a lot. Like, that's a big, bold statement. Yeah. And with the confidence, whole chest. <gasps> yep. Jeez, yeah, exactly. Yep. That's why I'm just like, Mike does not care. He does not care. Oh. Who Nobody wants to play Walter's are. game. No. <laughs> Be so for real that you actually thought that was about to work. I know. That's why I just like. Thanks his, for the drink. His naivety is just like almost mind boggling to me. I know, so I'm like, you and Mike are not the same. You dude. are not the same. This man is choosing to live this life. Like, for real, like, he is the prime example of, like, party, brother. Dang, that's a lot of partying. So, I don't know. Gross, Seriously. it looks disgusting inside. There's, like, barf on the walls. Jesse, I've been awake for, like, three straight days, turning into a sleep stack. So, crash here. Yeah, that's cool and all, but I think I got, like, this cat, like, supposed to feed it. Yeah. Whatever, you little bitch. You sticking, or do I gotta flip you over and check you for a sliz? Hell, oh, brother, you know we got mad love for you. Now that you're back in the mix, it's like nothing but good days ahead. Plenty of time to pay sales, so all I'm saying. You cool? I thought his shirt was you're a cool. giraffe earlier. Like, if you just take that off. That's fair. That's like fair. Like, where the, where the yeah. skull is, yeah. is the feet. If you cut that off, and then it just looked like a giraffe, like a weird... 
Who knew that was his favorite animal at the zoo? Who knew? I don't know. I feel so bad for Jesse, though. Like I do, too, because this is about to be, I don't know. He just... Oh, Ew, it's so God. Gross. Digital animal freaky folks. He's so good at acting. He's so good. I don't know if I have a ton to say. The only thing I have to say is kind of just the piece, like, in my opinion, my humble, humble opinion that doesn't mean much, but, like, Walter is, like, <laughs> the prime example of, like, the saying, like, be good or be good at it, and he's not good at it. <laughs> and it makes me, and I know, like, he's meant to be written this way. Like, I know this. I know this. But, like, no, but I is... just want him to at least do, like, this, you know what? This is a great parallel. Skylar's showing up, doing the work, doing the math, knowing exactly what she is doing. Like, the research goes in, has a spreadsheet, has a business plan, knows everything. Walter, you really think you... You, you could just roll that, up you to, roll Gus's to Gus's house? house? And kill him? You really thought that? And that is the craziest part of, like... And not to turn this into a sexist thing, but kind of, like, he was like, where'd you pull that number out your ass? And she's like, no, I have receipts. Walter doesn't yeah. need receipts. Walter just has the confidence that he thinks he can do this. And he might be a little unhinged. I'd be unhinged if I watched someone get their That's what I was saying. Like, he gives, like, serial killer vibes because at some point, like, serial killers just kind of derail themselves. Where it's oh, like, yeah. Like, you're Ted just Bundy being sloppy. Florida. Yeah, like, you're not thinking about, no. like, your method anymore. Like, yeah. you, you've completely lost track of what your entire portion of intent was you're just and, driven by the and, urge to kill yes and like now you just have this urge to like be seen like i don't know yeah like that's so what i'm saying like stop it he point. just gives like serial killer just, like, to go in with and have that conversation with mike with his whole chest especially when mike was the one that stopped you from going into gus's like walking further like, up to gus's house why? in the first place I just, I wish I could see why he, I know what it is. I don't have the confidence that Walter has. To be honest, that's the one thing I'm jealous of. Walter White has the confidence. The audacity. Truly, but like his whole, that's the thing is like, I don't think I could ever go into a scenario like that. I can't go into 90% of social settings without a script in my head you know what i mean like yeah. i'm already i'm doing too much homework to no, figure I mean, out the we vibe. talked about that like yeah. in the bear with like the girl like claire walking up at the grocery store like yeah there's no way you could get yeah. me to even Not like ever. do that never once but he just has the confidence to go up and to think that this man thinks so similarly to him that he with these words just say you think well, also, it's just but he Walter. does. He's been doing that. He does that a lot with a people. Lot. Like he does that a lot. He, like he tried to do that. Like with he tried to do that with Gus. Didn't work. Like he tra he's trying to do it with Mike. It's not working. Like he's done. Like he, he. It's always that same thing where it's like, oh well, we're in the same boat. But it's like, but you're not because Mike. Like Mike clearly could rock Gus if he wanted to. Mike has the skill set to be an absolute Menace. danger. Yeah, like, that's if what I'm saying. If like, he he's... wanted Gus is dead, if he was concerned about his own safety, my guy, he also would have like, been in handling. Mike, he's... like, works, like, I feel like Mike is different in the way that, to me, it feels like he works with them. He is. Not for them. No. Kind of like, like Barry. Like, he's yeah. just some guy that, like, that's his thing over there. Like, we're going to hire you to do things every now and then. Like, I'm chill with you. You're chill with me. Like, thank you so much. Like, but otherwise, like, you're not really part of my team. Like, like you're your own thing yeah like M mike is in the cut like there's he, like he was like you know what this pays better this is, makes me feel better he clearly is a rogue he says when he was a beat cop he saw these things so he kind of wants to do like what he feels is best for him but at for you to assume that you are the same my guy yeah is wild i know why do you if mike wanted to kill gus why is he gotta get you in a room yeah. why do you think mike is so desperate like this is only about you yeah like they are not the same like, you are not the same. Not the oh, same. God. And then just Jesse. Jesse is going through it, and that's just so much. Like, he just does not.
yeah he cannot i felt that last scene that's so he so well acted yeah and so well acted and just like him like i don't know it's like him i just think his biggest thing right now is just him like pushing the drugs on people like it's like him doing that is so he just doesn't want to be alone in his despair misery loves yeah company. like he needs company obviously yeah. like to the point where he's willing to throw a three-day bender and completely destroy his house um yeah so i don't know this is what it it's is. just so much like like there's just so much on top of jesse too because it's like not only did he kill a gale you know what i mean it's like his life is consistently in danger i think that's why he's not going out and buying these things and living and because like the way that skinny p goes like have patience like it's now that you're back in the game it's yeah. good you have time and, and like and i you could just see jesse being like but i like all he wants to say is like but i don't have any guaranteed time yeah because like, I don't like have guaranteed time. how does he explain that there's right. like a hit on him or that Absolutely. he killed somebody the way that he did because of why he did that like so many little fuzzies on this. This is what I get for wearing my jammies. Hey, but you comfy. Yeah, comfy. Um, yeah, so I just think that's probably eating him up alongside. And like, and at Jesse's core, he really doesn't want to be a killer. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't think that. I mean, it seems, I feel like he kind of wanted to bow out at some point in yeah. time. And then he's had too much back and forth. Yeah. It's just, it's messy. Yeah. And it's like he says he's a bad guy, but obviously, like, how bad can you be? Yeah. But again, it's that linear spectrum of evil. Yeah. You're still evil doing evil things. It's just, you know. So. Yeah. It's uh, it's just I feel like yeah. he, he struggles with it more. Like, because Walt is so good at justifying that he's doing it for the protection of Jesse or the protection of himself or the protection of his Walt family. Walt almost gets kind he's of so manic. Great. Yeah. He's so great at compartmentalizing. Like, he can, I do believe, like, genuinely, like, Walt is like, no, I'm doing this is what I need to do for my safety. This is the best bet. And and I believe he firmly believes that. Yeah. While Jesse is just like, really, though, what is all this for at this point? Yeah. Like, what is it for? Like, he said at the diner when he was like, well, we know where we all stand. You know what I mean? I feel like he's just like, in still in the realistic, he's not. Yeah. And see, like, that's an a, yeah. And that's a good point. Like, because that's the difference between him and Walt, right? Like, Jesse's right. like, well, at least we know where we all stand. Like, Jesse's not really worried about it because he feels like that brought clarity for him. Whereas, like, Walter, it's not good enough for him. Well, well, I, yeah, I feel like Jesse's, like, just settled down. It's like, we are disposable. This is what we're in. We are in the shit. Like, and Walt's here. like, no, but we're so, but I'm going to get us out of the shit. Like, I'm going to do it. And it's like, but you're dealing, like, I can't. To be honest, I'm so excited to see where the season goes because it's like, how do the fuck did they get out of this? Like you yeah, don't, that's... you just spend the rest of your existence looking over your shoulder, and then homie, again, no, and then he just Gus, keeps putting the a bigger that... target on his back. Yeah. Like, why do you think you have this camaraderie with Mike? Yeah, because like, Mike stopped you from walking oh. up to Gus's house. You don't think that he's gonna tell Gus that you weren't there? Like, you do not sign that man's paycheck. Yes, and like exactly, like Mike is not working for you, he's Walter. Not... Like, that's I... not his. Pro he doesn't care. And even at the th them sitting at the bar, like he yeah. told him, like just take yes for an answer, like. It's like nagging. Like Walter's just like like nagging at him. Like it's like he wants. He thinks it kind of goes back to his ego and like kind of like what you were saying. Like he just thinks he deserves more. Like homie, you've dude, already gotten is... way more than you should have. You are like, like dude, you made it out by the skin of your teeth, my guy. Like you really need to calm ah. down. Okay, this is literally this is literally the audio that was playing in. <laughs> in Mike's head while Walter was sitting at the, at the bar with him. And now I want to sit back and relax and enjoy my evening. When all of a sudden I hear this agitating, grating voice. Mike's like, why are you? He's like literally at me? the bar. Like, this is my solace. Trying to like have a drink and relax. <laughs> and then it's just Walter. And the whole time you just see Mike's face, he's just like, oh my god, dude. Like, he, he's like, just leave me alone. That's like, really the piece, He's like, dude, though. I don't know how to help you. Like, I don't want to talk about it anymore. Like, we were all there. We get it. Like, we saw it. We saw it with our and own it, eyes. Like, And it wasn't cool. And I'm not happy about it. But again. Yeah, and he's like, you're creating more, like, you're creating more problems for me yes. than you are, like, work. Like, you're not, like, we... I just feel like he, like, Walter just feels like it's owed to him, and Mike has just done 
out of being a cursy because I don't think Mike really wants to go out and like slaughter people all the time. I don't think he wants to. He can. He yeah. will. But I don't think he wants to. That feels like a lot of work. That's a lot of cleanup, you know? Yeah. So, but but Walt like sees that and sees like these almost these cognitive courtesies as like them having this bond of some sort. Because and there isn't they one. Don't. There's not one. There's not a bond. The bond does not exist. The bond does not exist. The bond does not exist. <laughs> oh, but yeah, so. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. All right, guys. Well, thanks for hanging out and watching this episode of Breaking Bad with us. Um, maybe we get to, maybe Hank will do an unboxing in the next episode. So. Oh. A, that was clever. I f*** with that. That was awesome. <laughs> she gets an, an unboxing. It took my brain register. But also, <laughs> Hank and the way he's treating Marie right oh now. Oh, my God. Got, I can't believe good. we didn't mention that. I think part. it's because, okay, what more does he have to be embarrassed about other than, like, losing his pride in front of the one person that he wants to be able to provide for yeah him. and i totally get it but it's like but he's like he's, he's yeah he's like they're definitely button heads right now so you're biting the hand that feeds you a little bit like it's just like Mer. yeah all right guys we'll see you on the next episode see you guys bye